Let me see your hands. Okay, get your hands together. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath from your belly. Quiet your hearts and your minds, and let's pray. Dear Lord God, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for everything that you have given to us. We just give you all the praise and glory for all that you do for us. And we pray, Lord, that you would forgive us of the things that we do wrong that are called sin and help us do better next time. Help us to um, focus on our Bible story today and listen to good listeners. We pray, Lord, for VBS this week. We pray, Lord, that everyone has a great week and everyone does a great job. We pray for all of our students who went to the bigger class. We pray for Rebecca and Connor as they moved up and are going to be in third grade this year and just help them as they're there. We pray for new people coming here like Miss Naomi and others who get to come um, later when they get decided to come back to church. And we just pray for them. We pray for David is asking, um, thankful for rain, if it gets to rain today. Naomi is thankful for her mom and dad. And Daniel is thankful for being here. And James, we're thankful that James is here too. And he's always thankful for his family. We pray, Lord God, that you would put your words in our mouth, put your thoughts in our head, put your song in our heart, and help us to learn what we need to know from this lesson today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 In the beginning is our title for today, and we're starting at the beginning because this is Promotion Sunday, so everyone starts in a new class that made a new grade and moved up. And so we're going to start the very first book of the Bible, which is Genesis. Miss Jill didn't even move her little things. It's in the Old Testament. And this is when God created everything. This is our read together verse. Oh, but before we start, we're going to look at a couple of words here. Miss Jill didn't take off these two words, but hovering. Something's going to hover in our, in our story today. In our very first part, there's going to be God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit here at the beginning. And the Spirit is going to be hovering. That's like when you see a hummingbird. Have you ever seen a hummingbird? Oh. I was it's watching flying. mine yesterday. Flying, but it's right there in front of you. Or a helicopter. It's flying, but it's just staying in one place. That's like hovering. And beginning means at the start. That's where we're starting. And we're going to start with our very first book, Genesis 1-1. And our Read Together friends Read are everybody but Daniel. Daniel. So that's Mr. James and Mr. David yeah. and Ms. Naomi. Let's look and see what the very first book, on very first one. verse says. Are you ready? Yes. Ten words. Here we go. What's the book? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That's the very first one. And did you know that there's a verse almost like this in the New Testament? And we're going to look at it real quick. It's in the book of John. John 1.1. 1, 1. It says, in the beginning... <clears throat> was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. And remember I told you there's Jesus is in the beginning, God's in the beginning, and the Spirit is in the beginning. So Jesus is going to be the Word. And if we replace that, the Word with the word Jesus, and it says in the beginning was Jesus. Wow. And Jesus was with God. And Jesus was God. That's what John's telling us. That at the beginning, Jesus was there when God created everything. And we're going to find out how God created everything. And that's going to be looking at verse 2. So at first, there was nothing. It says the earth didn't have any shape. And the earth does have a shape now. What kind of shape does the earth have now? Circle. What is this? It looks like a circle. A sphere. There you go. That's one of those third grade words probably. Look, we still have little stickers on here. So now it does have shape, but at the beginning it had no shape at all. It was empty. There was darkness over the surface of the waves. And it said the Spirit of God was hovering, there's that word, over the waters. So the Spirit of God was there. And verse 3, I think, is Mr. Levi's verse, and he's not here. And his verse says, God said, this is the first thing he said. Notice it didn't say God took out his Legos. God got his tinker toy, or his Lincoln log, or whatever it is you build with, or some sand, or some dirt. No, it said he just spoke. God said, let there be light. And there was light. He didn't even say, let there be the sun. He said, let there be light. And Daniel, what does your verse say about this light? 
Tell us. Do you know? In verse what? 4, what does verse 4 Reading tell us about four. the light Big that God made? Reading. Um, verse 4, God saw that the light um, was good. He separated? He separated the light from the darkness. So he separated the light from the darkness. How do you separate? And oh God called the light day, and that's in verse 5, and he called the darkness night, and there was evening and morning the very first day. So let's see what God did. God said, let there be light. Ooh, look and there was light. It wasn't light. like the sun. It was just light. And when God did this, oops, I went too far. God was just speaking. And when you speak, what's it, what comes out of your mouth? Words. Words. <laughs> God spoke the word, and the Good word job, is yeah. Jesus, and Jesus was there when God created that everything. That was white. It was the, like, orange thing. Yeah, well, we're, that it was just light. So the very first day, God created light. And so here's the word light right there. And now we're going to move to day two. Look what day two says. God created the sky and the sea. Let's see what happens on day two. That is going to be in verses six through eight. And he, there's this huge space that God had to, was filling up and it, there was water there. Do you know water gives life? If you plant something in the ground, what do you have to do for? I have a sunflower growing in my garden. Do you put water on it a lot? Yeah. Because water's going to make it got hard. the rain tomorrow. Yeah, it might rain tomorrow. It might rain tonight, too. We don't know. I mean, it rained it on yesterday. And where and did I have the water? The and so, Papa told watering can. Okay. Right, so so some water we get out of, like, the faucet, like the ocean, like the rivers. But some water comes by itself from God out of the sky, right? Out of the clouds. Mm -hmm. So, those are the things that God separated. So the first one was the water in the ocean. We can see that. We can feel it. We can touch it. But there's also water. What about sharks? In the sky. Look at this. Here's some clouds. And the rain just comes right out. Do you see that? The clouds make the rain come right out. So there's water in the sky. So God separated those Wait, two things. And when he did that. so much. When he did that, the earth, look how much water is on the earth. Look at all the blue. The earth is more than half water. It's 71% water. And even our bodies have a lot of water. We got to drink water all the time to keep us alive. That's right. That's very important. So God separated them, and he puts a sky there. So there's this space, like where the birds fly. Every time I pick lettuce, I just eat it out of my hand. Yes. The, how does it does not fall? How does this, the what not fall, the sky? No, how does the water not fall? The water doesn't fall until the clouds get real heavy. So if we went back, these clouds were filled. See how dark they got? They were filled with water. And when they couldn't hold all that water, then it came out. And because of gravity, it falls Why to the ground. Why is it so much rain? That was just it's a crazy just thing. So when you get all these things together, on day three, look what happens on day three. We've already got light. That was day one. There's some sunshine. Then day two... We get water and land. So day three, light, land, and water is going to equal plants. Mm -hmm. Going to start having some plants all over the place. Look at these plants. Growing, growing, growing right up. That's time lapse. So okay, they don't... that sun was kind of a uh, white. It was just a cartoon. So let's keep going. Let's see if we can get to that sun that, that Daniel keeps wanting to see. So what do you need to grow plants? What are the things you put in the ground? Dirt. The seeds. You need, the, you need the, the dirt. The seeds. So in this verse in the Bible, it talks about seeds. Let's see which verse that is. There was seeds. It says, um, each kind of tree will have its own seeds. Each kind of fruit will have its own seeds. When you eat fruit, where are the seeds in your fruit that you usually eat? Inside them. Right in the middle. Like I cut apples. my apple seeds out this morning and I yeah. had some apples. Watermelon. You eat watermelon. As you can see the seeds in there. Mm -hmm. um, there's, some, there's some white seeds that you can eat. 
Yes, on them watermelons. And black tea, you cannot eat. Yeah, they, they were not so great. These are pumpkin seeds. These are seeds that were inside pumpkins. If you've ever cut open a pumpkin to make a jack lantern, they They're have... popcorn. You can eat those, but you yeah. have to cook them first. Yeah, you have to cook them yeah, first. Yeah, and then it will taste like yeah. popcorn. Yeah, they can, if you put lots of yummy stuff on top of them. We still eat pumpkin seeds all the time. So God and made seeds. And you can sometimes make pumpkin pie. Yes, you can. <laughs> But God made seeds, and seeds are what helps everything grow. So on day three, there were lands and plants and dry ground with seeds and trees so that there could be more things. God just didn't make one tree. What about food? My cousin Frankie's willow tree just broke when there was an ice storm. Yes, my what trees were sad food? during that. Food. There's food on some of these trees. Apples. Mm -hmm. Some of those things, there's food on those trees. So let's see. What happens next? Here's the part that Daniel was interested in on day four. Day four, God's going to put some lights in the sky. What kind of lights do you see in the sky? Stars. Stars, the moon, and sun. the sun. So those are the three things, stars, sun, and moon. So let's see. Here they are. There's, there's a pretend sun. Daniel's going to tell me that's not the real sun. Here's a real picture of the sun. And what color is it, Daniel? Orange. Orange. A real pic. The sun is really orange. Here's a pretend picture of the moon. What color is that? Yellow. But guess what? The moon is white. Mm -hmm. And do you know that the moon doesn't even make its own light? Remember when I showed you this? It makes a lot of light. It, the only light it makes is because it's a reflection off of the sun. So we see the moon, when the moon goes around the earth and the earth goes around the sun, the moon can get in the way and we can see the reflection. When it's over here and the sunlight hits it, we can see the moon from the Even earth. Even though it's dark here. Even though earth. it's dark because it's lighting it up because it's white. And so the sun is reflecting like a mirror. And the other thing you talked about was a star. That's a little fortune star. There's a star made with time-lapse photography. So it's, I a, have that it's a real star. star. I put that star up for Christmas. You put a star up for Christmas. That's right. God then, made stars. Then, and there was, was a special about, star for about, Jesus. Can you make babies? Yes. God made a way to make babies, too. He made people. That's coming up. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. So the next thing, we still don't have any, we still don't have animals yet. Let's see what day five says. Day five. Sun, moon, stars. That was day four. Look what day five says. What do you see in this picture? Birds. Birds. Fish. And fish. And sharks. And sharks. Birds. So those are all things he made on day five. In verses 20 and 23, it talks about that. Fish. It says, God said, let the sea be filled with what? living creatures. See. Verses 20 and 23, let the sea be filled with living things and the birds fly above the earth in the huge space of the sky. Okay, let's see if we can find some fish. Look, those are some real fish. It's a real picture. I see a shark. You see a shark? Yeah. You know what? This This looks like that puzzle we used to do in preschool. It sure does. There's a sea turtle. What is this? Do you know what that is? Stingray. A stingray. Yeah. Miss Jill, did you know Miss Jill has been stung by a stingray before? Ooh, that's not, a, yeah. that's not good. I'm not in the funny. real ocean, Miss Jill? In the real ocean. Oh, I'm sorry that happened. <laughs> it's not as fun as you think it might be. This is a lionfish. Um, well, you can pick. And yeah. I see a parrotfish. A parrotfish. What is a parrotfish? Is this a parrotfish? Um, or this? Well, I just know he's up there. I know, he might be. A queen fish, a parrot fish. Okay, so let's see the next thing. After after the fish, God created the birds. I thought this was funny. Look, they're kind of moving. We see blue jays and hummingbirds and robins. The eastern bluebird, that's the, that's the official bird of the state of Missouri. Here's a yellow rumped warbler. I, I don't funny. really see warblers. I sure see a lot of tufted titmouse. Tit oh, we have them all over. They make a special sound that drives us a little bit crazy. <laughs> blue, we got blue jays, yellow jays. Lots of blue jays. Okay, so that's, this is day, I think this is day five. So that's day five. So do we have dogs yet? Cats? No. no. So what do you think is going to happen on day six? 
animals, animals, insects, and people. Oh, yay, we get mosquitoes. Yeah, <laughs> no. mosquitoes. Butterflies. Yes. There's a new bite right I there. I don't care right mos <laughs> No. Oh, no. 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 But you know what? On a wall. Mosquitoes help feed some of the birds. That's Swallows right. eat lots very of mosquitoes. Important. It's very important. Okay, no, so so that's what happens yeah. on day six. They day don't need day us. Day six is, is versus you have 24 one to wait to for a Because I'm, I'm totally I'm not going to scratch. You're not going to scratch. <laughs> and I want you to notice, I want you to think about this. Are you listening? Right here. 24. No, no. Let's listen. Listen, listen up. Listen up. God, every time he made something, he said it was good. But when he gets to people, he tells us. There's the animals yeah, and the insects. When and when he gets to people, he tells us this is very good. Don't move your chairs. Don't move your chairs. He says it was very good. Very good when they made it. And he said, let us make people in our image. So the us is God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit. They're all there together. And so the people are going to help take care of all of those things. Animals, and so now we're on day. Like day six is finished. Naomi and James, we gotta sit quiet. And who comes after the number six? What's the next number? What number is that up there? Seven. seven. Thanks, Naomi. On day seven, it said God rested. It was a holy day. He set aside. So when God rested, did He look like this? <laughs> no, he didn't look, no. Did He look like this? No. 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 He wasn't doing any. No, no, no. God was actually enjoying what he made. Like right now, Miss Jill and Miss Stacy, we put together all this stuff for Bible school, and we're going to get to enjoy it. Yes. It's kind of like when you make a cake or a castle. Like that. So I, I imagine that God might be frolicking. Isn't it like the dog? <laughs> oh, yes. yes. What the heck? <laughs> that was a dog. I imagine he's just sitting there looking at everything going, wow. I I love this. This is perfect. This is, he even it's says it's heaven on a cloud. It says right here in verse in chapter two, verse one. Oh, so the heavens and the earth and everything in them were complete. Okay. And on the seventh day, God finished His work that He had been doing, and He rested from all His work. And God rested. blessed the seventh day in verse three rested. and made it holy, set apart. And He's going to spend a lot of time through the rest of the Bible saying, "Um, you need to remember to rest." You need to remember to rest. You need to remember to rest. And he even told the people they weren't allowed to do any work on that seventh day. Why did it come to hold it? That's to hold it up. So, on this day, God rested, and he wants us to rest, too. And part of that is so that we can worship God. That's why we come to church. This is a day we came here today. We're kind of resting. We didn't do our regular work. We're going to go and worship God. That's our day of rest. Day of rest. That's what God wants us to know about this story today. So before we go, I need you to take your feet off the chair, please. Thank you. Ow. Before we go, we're going to pray. So find your hands. Get your hands together. And we're going to thank God for everything he made. Close your eyes. Quiet your hearts and your minds. And let's pray. Dear Lord God, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for all creation that you made. We thank you for making each one of us. And making us your children, when we confess with our mouth Jesus is Lord, believe in our hearts that God raised Jesus from the dead so that we can be saved. And we pray all of this in the name of Jesus. Help us to go from here and remember to worship and praise you in all that we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.